Thank you, Riv. I'm here with Crepo after their win, uh, and Inox in the background. Now, you guys, uh, you start out with this new new pick. Not a lot of North American teams do this. You were able to stop the first dragon. However, the second buff spawns, I think you guys guessed wrong, not able to control it. Did you get everything that you wanted out of this new new pick? Um, we knew we were going to get targeted in the jungle, or, or possibly, so we had to work on alternatives this weekend. So we just don't stick to the Lucian and the Elites while we can still play them uh, perfectly fine. They're <laughs> TSM fans. Uh, we just went for something else. It worked out. We had to make sure they didn't do the early dragon. We scaled into the late game really well. Uh, we just made sure whatever we contested was safe because we knew we had the better lane and the better uh, teamwork. That's what we've been working on a lot this week. And yeah, it worked out. Um, really sad that Altex the feeder with 100% uh, <laughs> death participation, but uh, he did his best. I was going to say, speaking about teamwork, you guys in the bottom lane, um, you and Altec really seem to have improved a lot. You got your uh, two versus two double kill down there. Uh, what is it like working with Altec now? How far have you guys come, and you, do you still have a lot of room to make up? We still have a long time to go, <laughs> honestly. Like right there, uh, his ulti was down before, so I was under the assumption he was still down. So I actually flashed out a little too early, thinking I, I'd just sacrifice myself and get him out of there. But then he popped his ulti and just decided to 1v2 them, and I was like, all right, Johnny boy, you do that. I'll just sit here and watch. Yeah, he's just a really good player, um, really good mechanics. He's getting a lot better uh, at the things he has to improve on. So we told him, like, improve on your picks, and you saw it. You just, at the end of the game, just, all we hear in voice head is like, yeah, I'm going to go for this kill right now. <laughs> and it works. Now, we also want to know about the overall team communication, because you guys brought in Helios, another guy who speaks another language. Uh, CLG have been working with similar situation. How is it right now for your team with shot calling? And what is the ideal situation for how shot calling will work within your team? Uh, we had some issues with it, mostly because not only Helios, but other members were uh, just playing the game but not talking as much. And in, in reactions with that, I ended up talking more to try and fill that void. But in the end, what you end up doing is just you drown them out even more. So you need to make sure like you end identify, hey, Krepo, you're talking too much. Teammates, you're talking too little. Let's meet in the middle, and then with a foreign jungler, it gets tricky. But uh, if we speak to like core words, you say like blue buff invade, contest. We make sure we understand the words that we use, and and then it's fine with Dong Jin as well. He calls a lot of shots. He says vision, lane push, uh, go for towers. Like we understand each other perfectly enough to play League of Legends, and it's been going well. Do you guys specifically separate people into people who are going to add information to the pool, and then people who are going to take that information and make calls, or is it? kind of everybody is trying to add information? Uh, we just want to make sure that whatever happens, a play is set up, something has to be called. Like, what is our, ne what are we doing next in this game? It doesn't matter if Tyson says that or Eugene or whoever, like me or, or even like jungler, as long as that's set up and as you just have to focus on your own game, feed as much information from your side. And then as a collective, you can make that calls. But mostly it's uh, right now the jungler uh, making like the strategic like map movements and I'm filling in a little bit because I don't have as much to do on the map as a support compared to carries and yeah we just we're finding something that works and it's, it's getting better every time. Well it definitely worked this game congratulations again Crepo. Uh, now we are going to send it back up to the guys at the desk.